Question 18. 122,456 subtract 11,999. Well, it might be easier to actually put our commas in first before we do the call method. Make sure our commas are lined up and that will help us line up all the rest of the digits. So 122,000 would go before the comma, 456 would go after the comma. 11,999, so 11,000 before the comma, 999 after the comma. So now we're ready to do this takeaway. So let's have a look at what we get. 6 take away 9 we can't do, so we need to borrow one. So we borrow from the 5 and that becomes 4, and the one we borrowed makes us 6 into 16. 16 take away 9 is 7. 4 take away 9 we can't do, so we need to borrow from this 4 and that becomes a 3. And the one we borrowed makes this 4 here into 14. 14 take away 9 is 5. 3 take away 9 we can't do, so we've got to borrow from the 2, so that becomes a 1. And the one we borrowed makes this 3 that's left into 13. Now we can carry on with this column. 13 take away 9 is 4. 1 take away 1 is nothing. 2 take away 1 is 1. And 1 take away nothing is 1. So it looks like the final answer is 110,457. What you could have done is actually rounded this up to 12,000 and said well if I'm on 122,000 if I take off 12,000 that will be 110,456 but that's 12,000 is one too many so if you're on 110,456 and you've taken off 12,000 that's one too many so you add on the one back to the 110,456 and you would actually get 110,457 so it is possible to do that one mentally simply because this is almost 12,000 122,456 take away 12,000 will be 110,456 well you've taken off one too many so you need to put that one back on to make 110,457 to be honest with you, the safest way of doing it is probably just to do a column method. Providing you're pretty confident with the column methods, that should get you the correct answer.